God help me, I have to change lenses. Can you help me? Shield me. Oh my God. I'm getting to know you quite well. Yeah, the, uh, the audience are gonna love this. Don't pretend you don't love this. As we drove south through Namibia in search of new experiences and new landscapes to photograph, I began to feel a twinge of excitement. Watching the scenery change from lush greenery to sparse, empty lands brought home the reality that I was about to fulfil a lifetime ambition to shoot the desert dunes. It dawned on me that my time here in Namibia was very limited, and I began to feel a sudden pressure to deliver. I don't know if I was feeling this pressure because of our success photographing wildlife and now it was my turn to produce the goods as a landscape photographer, or if I was under the realisation that I had travelled to the other side of the world and only had three days to make the most of it. I don't know, maybe I was just tired. But what if I couldn't find a composition? What if my camera fails? What if I mess up my exposures? All of these doubts were running through my mind, and this was a pressure that I've never experienced before. I've always wanted to photograph sand dunes. Ever, ever, ever since I've been a landscape photographer, I've wanted to photograph dunes. But I've never had the opportunity, not proper ones, you know, like desert dunes that like you would get in the Sahara or here in Namibia. So I'm very, very, very excited to say that I'm here now in Swapakmund, which is southwest of Atosha. We've driven for about five hours down from Atosha National Park and out to the coast. So we're on the sort of west coast of Namibia now. This isn't part of the photography trip, if you like. This is just a stop off on our way to Sossusvle. But it just so happens that Swapakmun sits on the edge of this vast dune range on the skeleton coast. So like a mile from our hotel are just endless sand dunes. And the weather outside is crystal clear, very windy but crystal clear, so I'm hoping that as the sun sets, it's gonna cast this gorgeous golden orange light over the dunes, and hopefully we'll get a shot. That's the plan. That's the plan for today. We've just arrived here. We're gonna have a quick coffee, and we're gonna head straight out, explore the dunes, and maybe I can fulfill one of my landscape photography ambitions. <laughs> Oh dear me, it's windy. It's really, really windy. And poor old George has been a very, very kind citizen and helped a group of people whose battery has died on their car. So he's currently using our car to help jumpstart their car. So I'm actually going up the dune uh, with a bit of a head start to have a look and see what's over the crest and see if there's a composition to be had. So as it stands, I'm not entirely comfortable getting my camera out of its bag to do any photography. It's blowing about a 20, 20 mile an hour wind consistently, it's the trade winds off the Atlantic, and it's just whipping the sand up. So unless I find shelter or an area where the sand is just at like, you know, my feet basically, um, I'm gonna really, really struggle, which is a shame because it's absolutely stunning. The 360 degree panoramic views are phenomenal. And all I want to do is go and explore. But it's the wind. Actually, it's not the wind, it's the sand. The sand is the problem. Ah, oh, God, it's so annoying. Right, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. There he is, George Turner. 
one man vehicle rescue <laughs> and he does not look happy. This is really difficult. I'm having to having to get my gear out of my bag like I took out my camera in a relatively sheltered spot earlier and now I need to change lenses because the 16 to 35 is no good. I need to go longer. But it's it's the, the struggle is opening this bag without all all of the sand of the desert blowing in and God help me I have to change lenses. In fact George can you help me? Shield me. It's coming like the Titanic. Yes, just while I change lenses. See, this is why it's good to have two people on a shoot. All right, just stand behind me and try and. Okay, this looks. This is good. Oh my God. I'm getting to know you quite well. Yeah, the uh, the audience are going to love this. Don't pretend you don't love this. Okay, inside the bag. Always have the opening of the camera facing away from the wind into the bag. Bosh, done. Right, we're in. Whew. Okay, now I'm going to talk you through the composition that we have found on these dunes as soon as I fasten this bag. Oh, come on, come on. This is, this is brutal. Oh, brutal, right. Composition, let's go. super windy and everything's getting sandblasted so this is such a struggle but I have to say it's totally worth it because this is absolutely stunning and I say that with full sincerity this is gorgeous these dunes are phenomenal now after quite a long time of searching I found this composition this lovely sweeping dune and actually the sand blowing off the edge of the dune off the crest makes for a wonderful image so it's not all bad, shall we say, with the wind. The sun is just setting behind me here. It's setting over the ocean in this direction. And, oh, sorry, excuse me. It's setting over the ocean, so there's nothing, excuse me, <laughs> sorry. There's nothing to stop that light. So we are gonna get the last of the light until it drops beneath the ocean. Filters here would do nothing, they're not necessary. This scene is side lit by the sun. There's no bright sky, it's a perfectly balanced image in terms of light. After quite a lot of searching, I found this composition, this lovely ridge line. Now with these dunes, you have to be so careful where you walk because you don't want to accidentally walk in a composition that you might shoot. But on the other hand, you also have to commit. You have to commit yourself to the image and just walk up the dunes and try and use your experience and use your eye to spot the composition before it's too late and you trample all over it. So I've found this composition here. This, this, this ridge that we're on here, this sweeps around and into the distance, endless dunes with gorgeous side lights, like pastel colors. It's honestly, it's so nice. It's, it's just gorgeous. Now I'm, I'm actually shooting this at about 70 mil. This is actually quite a, quite a, a long shot, quite a narrow field of view. I did consider, well, I did look at going super wide but it, it didn't work. For me, compressing the landscape works so much better and is so much more effective here. So the light now is, oh, it's just stunning. The light is gorgeous, honestly. We're probably about 10 or 15 minutes until sunset and I'm gonna stay here, try my best to protect my camera and I'm just gonna shoot this image and really try and block out the wind and the sand and just enjoy this moment. Okay, I'm going to take the image now so you guys can see. I'm focusing to infinity, F11, two second timer. And I'm just going to shield this from the wind, which is relentless. Come on. Absolutely stunning.